So what's it like with the new guy? Who? Wink. Oh, Wink. Oh, uh, it's really fun. Um, I think we all enjoying it. Um, you know, just the, uh, so much aggression, uh, and it's just giving us energy. We're able to go out there and play uh, without worrying about making mistakes. Um, so it's just giving us a lot of freedom to to just go play, go go attack, and, and be the playmakers that you know that we have on our, on our defense. So it's been fun, and uh, we've loved every bit of it. Zay, is that the main? Is that the focal point of Wink's defense? Is attack, attack. You dictate, not the offense. Yeah, yeah, and I and I and like I said, we love it because um, you know ultimately as a defense, that's what we want to do. Uh, we want to you know we want to make the offense make mistakes. Uh, not them wait, not us wait for them to make a mistake. So we want them to, to make a mistake off of, you know, what we do um, and, and you know, how we bring that aggression towards them. Xavier, how different is it without Logan and James Bradbury? It seemed like last year secondary was like the strength of the unit. And now all of a sudden it's like you, you're the old guy. Yeah, uh, we, we definitely miss those guys, man. And, um, you know, they, they made decisions, you know, for, for them that were, you know, for good for their situation. And uh, we, I was just talking to Low actually uh, yesterday about, I just called him uh, just to check up on him, but uh, we all keep in contact and, you know, we all brothers at the end of the day, but, um, you know, the guys that we have now, um, you know, in our, in our DB room are great. Um, and, and we all just, you know, finding that, that building that chemistry with each other, um, you know, finding that, finding that bond within ourselves and within our group. And uh, like I said, we having fun. It seemed like last year was kind of a, breakout year for you what do you consider your next step uh take it take it uh you know 10 times forward um so that's that's you know that's what i'm trying to do uh, i'm trying to make sure that you know whatever whatever it is i need to do to you know help this team win games um and help us play uh you know great defense um you know that's what i'm that's what i'm willing to do and that's what i'm going to do so uh you know for me that's what i'm focused on we called uh, Jerome Henderson the best secondary coach in the NFL. Obviously, he's the only one you've ever known. But what about him makes him a good coach, and how important was it for all the young guys in this room to have the consistency of, I think he's the only assistant who stayed. Yeah, yeah. No, I, it's, for us, we feel great about it. It's, uh, you know, Rome and Mike actually with us um, that stayed. Um, so, you know, we were happy about that. But, you know, they definitely give us the confidence to go out there and just play. Um, they help us a lot out there on the field just of, you know, seeing different things. Um, so, obviously, when I came in, that's uh, Rome is who I had. Um, so, you know, it's been great just being able to stay with him. Obviously, in this game, you always, you know, it's, it's been a lot of coaches getting switched around. But, you know, keeping our same coach and keeping the coach that I had my rookie year is, is great because we, we already had that chemistry with each other. Um, a lot of us had that bond with him already. So. Um, it's a lot easier to, you know, be able to just, you know, listen to him and, and, you know, be able to soak in the information that he gives us. With pressure comes, you know, sometimes a DB gets stuck on an island. Do you mind that? No, I don't. I don't, uh, especially in this defense, because <laughs> uh, it's, it's so much uh, aggression. You know, we, we, it just, it, like I said, it gives you the freedom to just go out there and play. Um, so I, I don't mind that at all, um, because at the end of the day, it's me versus you anyways. So uh, I'm trying to win, win that battle every time, and I'm confident that I'm going to win that battle every time. So um, that's how I see it, and, and that's how I go about it. How do you, when you obviously had a lot of the turnover on the coaching staff, but you individually, how did you attack the offseason and will continue to attack in terms of here's my game, here's where I want to take my game? Yeah. So, I just wanted to take it to the next level, man. Uh, I think my biggest thing this offseason has been f a lot of film study. Um, so I've just been diving in on film, um, just you know, seeing seeing different things uh, that the offense does, whether that splits, how they run things, when they're going to run things, situational stuff. So that's been really my biggest thing. Like every day I, I train, but you know, I, I wanted to make sure that I overemphasize just staying in the playbook. Um, staying, you know, watching game film, watching practice film, watching myself, seeing what I could improve on. So uh, I think that was the biggest thing for me as far as, you know, really taking this thing to the next, the next level. Because that's a lot of times that's what separates the good guys between the great guys is, is the film study part of it. So uh, that's what I know, um, and I've, that's what I've seen. So uh, just been focusing on that. Did you change the way you watched film or the amount of film that you watched? Uh, kind of both. Um, you know, I, I watched it more at like a slower pace, 
um, just so I can, uh, you know, be locked in on, on certain things. So if I saw a play once, I would try to make sure that I could be able to see that play again. So for me, it was just watching it at a slower pace, not just kind of going through. But then sometimes I would also just sit there and just watch the whole game. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't rewind. I would just let the game play through. Um, and if something came and I saw something, I'd write it down. Or, you know, I'd call it out before, before it happened. So uh, it was kind of both for me. So you missed a uh, good chunk of your rookie year because of injury, uh, came back and, and were able to play last year. A-Rob is sort of in the same situation a year, a year removed from that. What, uh, what advice do you have for him, and, and what can he expect in the second year that's sort of a restart, a do-over for him? Uh, just to go out there and, and be himself. Um, that's that's what we ask, you know, amongst ourselves. Uh, we're all we all hold each other to a to a high standard in our room, um, and we all know that we all hold each other accountable. So, um, you know, for him, it's it's really for all of us. You know, just go out there and play, be yourself, um, and go make a play. Uh, so, you know, we don't if if you mess up. We, I mean, we don't really we don't worry too much about that because uh, everybody gonna have their mental errors. I have mine. Um, I had some today, uh, so, but everybody's gonna make their mistakes. Uh, just go out there and play, and uh, we'll we'll correct it later. One more. What uh, what did you think when the team drafted Evan Neal? What was his rep at Alabama? Yeah, man, I, I was I was happy about that one. Uh, I, I was getting on them. Uh, I've been getting on them a couple of days. Been on this on this on this case a little bit, but. I was glad that we picked him up, man. He's been been great so far, uh, from what I've seen when we go out there and compete against them. So, um, you know, we we, I mean, we fa we family. So, uh, you know, we obviously we played at Bama together, um, and it was fun there. And I'm just glad that, glad that he's you know my teammate again, and and glad that we can have him a part of the team.